Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So here we'll try to see another two, three uh, things, um, how you can make use of this bold italic command. Now, for example, let us say I have given a name of all the students, right? Let us say I want to bold only the second word that is Abhishek Kumar. This Kumar, I want to make it bold. In that case, how you are supposed to do, you come here and come to this uh, formula bar. You just select only Kumar, okay? With the help of your mouse, you just select only the Kumar. And now you can make him bold. You can see here. So in this way, I've made it bold. So there may be few cases where you want uh, or your client may say, I want only the second portion to be, you know, bold. So in that case, you can make use of this and try to do that. Okay. Suppose Ash Akash Yadav, if I want to do, I'll select this and I'll make it as bold. Or if you want to underline and I want to make it bold, let me do both the things. So it is underline and also bold. So that also you can do. Okay. Fine. Another thing is about the merge and center command. I'll show, I'll show one application of that. See, I, I did this one of the Excel sheet, okay? Where I have a railway project, building project, road project, and water supply. So you can see here, I've written a project cost. So how did I make this? So this entire thing will be a project cost under that railway project, building project, road project, and water supply. So this is actually made with the help of a merge and center command. So let me do the same thing in front of you, okay? So again, I'll write here. If you want, I'll copy the same thing. I'll say control C and I'll just write here control V. Okay. This I'll increase the size. This also I'll increase. Now I want to say this is project cost. I want to say this railway project, building project, road project and water supply project. This is my, uh, let us say, uh, propo uh, let us say estimated cost or let us say tender value. I'll, I'll write something. So I want to write tender value. I'll write tender value here. Okay. I'll write tender value. But again, what has happened? It's not looking good. No, I want to make something like this. So already I've written tender value. Now I'll select in this, this much. Okay. I'll select this much cells. And now I'll say merge at center. Now can you see it has come under a single cell. Now you select this, go to the bold. And now if you want to change the font of that, and then you can increase it. And then you, with the help of this alignment command, you click on this. It will be aligned. Got it, no? So, and then if you want to give a border, click on this, come here, go for this thick outside border. Fine, got it. Now, if you want to give a different color, I can no problem. Just select that, come here. Let me make it red in color so that it, it is you know differentiated from this. And then if you want to increase and still, if you want to give a color, come here, you can give a different color to that as well. Maybe this color I'll try to keep. So is it not looking good now? Yeah. So this is how you try to use this merge and center command practically uh, when you work on any of uh, projects that is given to you. Got it, right? So I've explained you the application. The same thing, if you want to do again, same thing you can practice on your, practice on your own. Copy the same thing and try to do all this stuff. That is okay. Okay, great. So these were the two things which I wanted to tell. Now we'll go back to the other commands. Now the next command, what we have is in the number commands. So you can see here number, we have all these things here. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with this. Yeah, before that I told about this part. That is this one. Okay, now let us consider, I'm gonna, you know, let me consider few of the names from here and here I'll go. I'll say angle counterwise. So if I do angle counterwise, it will come something like this. You can see all the names, students name has come like this. It's not looking good. So you don't want to use it. Usually we don't use that. <clears throat> okay. You don't have to worry. We usually don't use it. After that, the second one was angle clockwise. This was counter clock. Counter clock is anti-clockwise. Next we have angle clockwise. That means you can see, so this is how it looks. That means all your letters will be inclined this way and it will be inclined in clockwise. Your, your naming will, will be clockwise. You see here, so it has come something like this. Again, it's not required. I think let me do only for these things. For the numbering, let me try to do that. And I'll go here, I'll say angle clockwise. So it will come something like this, okay? It's not good, we'll not use it, not required. Next, what is the third one? Vertical text, yeah. So this is like vertical text. So what was happening? One for one, this is horizontal, right? Now if I select this, and come here and say vertical text, all your number will come, will be vertical, like one, four, one, three, three, zero. So maybe there are some uh, situation where you require, uh, somebody may tell you, see, whatever uh, number we have it here, no, I don't want this in horizontal, I want it in a vertical. So what you do, you just come here, select here, go to this option, say vertical text, everything will be vertical. Got it? Fine. After that, what is the next one we have? Next is rotate text up. That means, let me go with this. I'll select this Harsh is saying. I'll come here. I'll say vertical text. Okay, vertical text is done. Rotate text up. So what has happened here? 
rotate text up so it has rotated it it is going upward direction that is your name is starting from here harshit singh is coming after that maybe there is one more thing where himanshu and prasar will come later that means i'll select on this i'll say text rotate text down so here what has happened himanshu is starting from here and prasar is coming here so again wherever the situation demands we can try to use of such command but usually uh, what we do is we usually keep in this way only there are very few cases where we try to find the application of this okay otherwise it's not required you can go with the normal thing what we have written okay fine next is format cell alignment okay this is any not required fine this much is understood now why you need to understand tomorrow let us say somebody gave you a drawing uh, or somebody gave you excel file where in x in his excel file by default by default what has happened he has given the text something like this vertical text okay so you are using a same excel sheet now so moment you are using the same excel sheet like let me do in this way okay okay somebody gave you a file okay i'll somebody sent you a file and told you have to work on this file and everything was like rotate text up okay and then you started to write something like this what happened see by default it is come now you you get uh, you know frightened you don't know how to fix this issue then simple whenever such things happen because it's not that like whenever you try to work let us say somebody has sent you a file but the moment you are writing on that file all the words are going like this so you don't have to worry you just select all these things or even you can click here if you click here all the cells will be create selected all the cells will be selected and then you come here and say this one what you can say is you can say yeah i think uh, vertical text not vertical okay you untick this i think uh, to untick this yeah now it is fine see now it is you write anything now it will start in this way okay write in this way no problem got it so sometimes you may get a excel sheet in that way you don't have to worry come here try to understand that the alignment has to be done from here okay anyway these things are not required ha huh. so here another orientation will happen like for example okay let us say i want this text okay this text i want in a certain angle so i'll come here i'll select this text i come I'll, i'll come here format cell alignment you can see the degree right i'll just keep little degree i mean let us say i want some 25 degree so 25 and then i'll say okay so you can see this is not actually uh, this is the angle what i given 45 degree not 45 25 degree i have given so if you want to do something like that in that case you come here come to the format cell alignment here you can uh, write your uh, i mean here you can put the degrees and all whichever degree you want let us i want 50 degree okay so it will show 50 means it will look like this okay and then from here you can justify and all where you want that to happen where your number should happen and all okay text where it should come and all merge cell no problem only with this i can try to play and i'll say okay see so this is the angle what it has been created but again like i mentioned no much uh, importance of this there are certain commands where you hardly use them otherwise the normal thing what you write this is enough for us okay good so once this is done this is this is completely explained now we'll go to the next option okay now let us see somebody sent you a sheet okay i'll do one thing i'll delete everything yeah okay I'll, i'll go with a new sheet fine i'll go with a new sheet uh, what i'll do is i'll select this yeah so somebody sent you a sheet and you want to write let me write akshay a k s h a y okay this is coming wait let me do one more thing this will come wait okay this will not work out yeah no problem i'll do one thing wait yeah it's already done so let me go with this yeah so let us say i'm writing some number here i want to write 45 so i written 45 enter So what happened? The moment I wrote forty-five, some date is coming fourteen two nineteen nine one thousand nine hundred. Again, I'll write a number here. Let me write five hundred fifty. The moment right now it is showing five fifty. The moment I hit the enter or mo the moment I come out of this cell, it has turned to zero three zero seven nineteen zero one. So what is this all about? So this is about the changes that you have done. Actually, you see here, 
this portion you can see you no know, it is by default it is taking date so you write anything any number here 78 it will convert that into date by default uh, if somebody sends your excel sheet uh, maybe he has he, he's been working on a date format and he has sent the same excel sheet to you now again there will be a problem for you so in that case what you do you come here you can see this option select everything come to this portion and here you say general no specific format and general now if you see everything got back no 45 78 550 and all so that is how you try to bring them back okay so tomorrow if you want to add some currency and all you can make use of a currency let us say 45 okay i'll change that currency that is okay okay so most of the things are here only general number currency accounting short date long date we'll come to all this a bit later now it's not required but huh, why i'm telling is sometimes when you get an excel sheet uh, you may not be able to write there, Even, like you saw, I, I am inputting 45, it is showing some date and all. So in that case, what you, you don't have to worry, you just come here and from here you make this as general. So everything will be normal. If you write something, it will come. If you write 45, 45 will be shown. Okay, great. Yeah. Fine. Other than that, now let us say here. Here, let us say whatever marks they have put it here. No, I want to I want to convert these marks into rupees. Let us say I want to say instead of marks, let us say this is not marks. This is a let us say a currency. I'll change here. Okay, I'll say currency. Okay, currency. Fine. So let us say I want to say this is nineteen rupees. This is nineteen rupees. So what you do? Write nineteen and RS. So it will be a time consuming. You cannot do that. Instead of that, you select this. You come here. You can see this option, isn't it? Accounting number format. And there you have by default English India rupees. You can see a rip, rip, You can see this rupee symbol. No. So it indicates that nineteen rupees it is. Okay. Similarly, you can select all the rows from here, and then come here and say rupees so you can see everywhere the rupees has come similarly if you want to change from rupees to some other symbol if i want to put in dollar i can come here so you can see dollar is given here you can click on this dollar so it will be converted to dollars suppose if you want some other currency instead of dollar okay let us say if you want uh, bonds or something else it is not shown here you come to this option called as more accounting formats and here you can go to the currency option and here you can get lot of currency you can see all the currencies available suppose if i want uh, spanish okay any currency i'll go with japanese I'll, cl I'll click on that i'll say okay so you can see everywhere the japanese okay this symbol has come so in this way you can try to play with this whichever currency you want you can try to put that that is done yeah next we'll go to the next option so the next option is that i'll go with the number So I'm writing certain numbers here, like uh, this is a certain contractor and they've got some projects here. Okay, I'm taking this as an example. Let me delete all these things, not required. Fine. So you can see I've written a number 254, 624 and all. So you can see after this point, after this point, there are two decimal points. If I want to increase this, instead of uh, after the point, the decimal is only two. If I want to make three decimal, just select it. You can see this option this option increase decimal you click on this you can see your decimal is getting increased after the point you see after the point one two three four five zeros are coming in case if you don't want five zeros after the decimal you want only two zeros you just select here and now you click on this this is minimizing so click on that click on that click on this so only two zeros will be seen you can see that right so in this way uh, whenever we try to work and all whatever number of uh, zeros you want after the decimal you can select everything Either if you want to increase it, you increase it. If you want to decrease, you can decrease it. So this especially becomes handy when we are doing quantity estimation and all. So if I'm doing a quantity estimation and all here. So here, let us say after this point, only two digits are there. I want to make this as three digits. So what I'll do, I'll select this thing, select. And here I'll go here and I'll increase it. So after the point, three digits are coming. Now you see everywhere three digits are being shown. Now, let us say if you don't want that, you want only one digit to be shown. Select that and minimize it. So now only one digit. After the point, only one digit is shown. So in this way, you can either try to increase or you can try to decrease that. Okay, fine. 
after that, the next command what we have is let us say I'm writing some uh, numbers here. I'll write uh, certain numbers here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll write uh, like this is one project and this is the cost of that project. Okay. So let us say the name of the project is like uh, A. We have B, we have C, we have D, we have E. Now cost, I'm writing some random values. I'm writing some random values. Are you able to understand what is the cost of this? Okay, I'll put it in rupees now. I'll put it in rupees. Okay, so how do you put in rupees? Simple, select here, come here, and you say rupees here. Okay, by the by the time I put rupees, okay, rupees it's not required, but I'm not able to understand how much it is. I need to count, no? So instead of that, what I do, I'll select this. You can see a comma which is given here. Click on the comma. So by default, it will tell you it is 4 crore, 50, sorry, it is 4 lakh 56,242 rupees. So before that, what was happening? There was no decimal point, nothing, right? It was just a normal number. But I want a decimal point. After decimal, I want to give two digits, something like that. So what you do in that case, you select this, come here, you have this comma option, click on that. Now you see 4,56,242 and after the decimal, you have two zeros. Suppose if you want to increase the zeros, what you do is select this and you have this option of increasing to increase the decimal. If you want to decrease, you can decrease the decimal also. That also can be done. So this comma will help you in that way. Okay. So if you're working on any projects and all, if you want to um, uh, separate uh, your figures with a comma you can make use of it then later if you want to put a uh, rupee symbol select that come to this portion go with this rupee symbol so this is how it looks got it so these are the few applications of all these commands so try to make use of this command so that uh, you'll get a better understanding of this so practically i told you uh, so this is how i done see what i first i written all the number then i came and clicked on this comma so what has happened everywhere uh, it's coming okay yeah so i think most of the things i've explained you the currency part and the accounting uh short date long date these things will take it later now it's not required for us okay now it's not required up to here try to understand so in the next lecture we'll try to go with a few other uh, shortcut commands and all how to add the numbers how to multiply the numbers uh, we'll see other functions of excel and all so we'll be able to understand all those things in a more better way so we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.